Good afternoon, Facebook family and friends and YouTube subscribers. Today is Monday, uh, August 18th of 2014. So over the weekend, of course, we had some stuff. We, we had some things take place in Ferguson, Missouri. And they always ended up, black folks always end up Sunday afternoon or sa Sunday or Saturday, Saturday afternoon, they ended up in a church somewhere out there for uh, several pastors. Uh, there was a picture of a, the governor of Missouri praying with some preacher out there. Now, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without offending y'all. But anyway, go, you niggas going to be offended, so I might as well just say how I'm feeling. Until black people wake up. And walk away from that fake Jesus Christ religion. Until we wake up and walk away from fake Jesus, we're going to be trapped for another 400 years. Gee, I don't want to hear that. Until we walk away from the false belief in Jesus, this invisible individual who's supposedly guiding all our lives off a cliff from what I could see. Until we wake up and quit putting our belief in some invisible belief system and begin making strides in the real world to improve our lives until we get off our knees praying to Jesus hoping for some miracle to happen until we make those changes in, until we get up and make some serious changes in our thinking process critical thinking skills as African Americans or black Americans or whatever y'all want to call us we're going to be trapped because it seems like we don't want to walk away from this Jesus Christ figure. We think that this invisible man up in the sky, so wherever he, he hiding out at, is protecting us. Let me tell y'all something. Jesus Christ and God, they, they, they must be two of the most racist pe people in heaven. Look around our communities. There's something bizarrely wrong with black America. Something has gone terribly awry. We're not making the strides of success that we should be making. Some blacks are doing okay, but the vast majority... See, this is where we got to be real. The vast majority of blacks are living in poverty in the United States. The richest country in the world, but I would say more than half of black Americans, more than half, are living in poverty. This has been going on for decades. Decades. And until we make some changes in our thinking process, our thinking skills... Education should be is the key to success. Not sitting in a church all day on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at Bible study, prayer meeting. We gotta let that mess go. Too much belief in that mess is frying our brains. And I know this is offensive to a lot of you all because you, you, you did your, your grandmother gave you Jesus, she, her grandmother gave her Jesus. And her great -grand great grandmother gave her Jesus. So this is something that's been passed from generation to generation to generation. And it is so destructive. Talk about generational curse, cur curses. Well, religion is the, this Jesus. Not just Jesus, but also the Muslim religion. All these religions are false. Fake. Man-made. But we can't see it because we're so trapped. It's like a prison cell. We can't think. We're allowing this book, the Bible, to guide our lives. And that book can't function in 2014. Instead of so focused on religion, we need to be focused on trying to understand the stock market so that we can build wealth for generations to come. I grew up in a household with a very religious mother a very superstitious father. I had to reject both of them. What I mean by rejecting both of them, I'm not a superstitious person and I'm not a religious person because I realized that both those things were dangerous to this, my brain. So I had to reject that foolishness. Church should be no more than motivation and entertainment. Just like you go to a basketball game. Your life, you cannot base your life on an invisible system that doesn't exist this false belief in Jesus is destructive and dangerous to our communities but we and we refuse to let it go we won't let it go I look at my family 
And all I can do is shake my head. But we all got Jesus. But look at the lives that we're living. Sad. The situation is just deplorable. And I don't like to really discuss my family when they get upset. But they they got all this faith in Jesus and religion. And we don't have nothing. Nothing. We don't need businesses, we don't need stores, we don't need companies, we don't need nothing. But they're in church every Sunday. Cousins, uncles, aunts, all of them trapped. Don't know how to let it go. Not understanding that you've been, this brain that you have is filled with intelligence. All, and what I'm trying to say, as clear as I can, when you're sitting in a church all day Sunday, uh, I go to Jehovah's Witness, we had church on Sunday. On Tuesday, we had book study. Thursday, we had something else we had to go to church. Hours! Then Saturday, field service. Hours and hours. Do you know what my mother could have done to her children as she put us into something where we learned something productive? Instead of her forcing that Jehovah's Witness religion down our throat. And there are many religions worse than Jehovah's Witnesses. They're there two or three, four times a week for hours. I have friends who tell me stories of being in church all day on Sundays. But what if they learned that can help them in, two th in, in the real world? They should have been in school. After school programs, tutoring, learning how to play instruments, anything. Learn how to use your hands to build something. Teach your children skills they can learn. We should have been taught skills that we can use in the real world. Following your needs, praying and reading, studying that Bible ain't going to get you nowhere. But y'all don't want to hear it. And this is offensive to some people, but I don't give a damn at this point. At some point, we got to walk away from this foolishness. We got to let this mess go. It's, just, it's destructive. It is destroying our community. When I drive through South DeKalb over the land, I kid you all, there's a church every 25 feet or less. Everywhere, these churches, small ones, big ones, little ones. They're, and I drive by them on Sundays, and there's the parking lots are filled. All of them. We flock to these churches, hoping for a miracle that ain't never gonna happen. We gotta wake up. We gotta come to the real world. And we got to start promoting education. Get a college education. Learn to read, learn to write, critical thinking skills, common sense. In black America. That's what we need to be studying on a regular basis. Instead of running around with a Bible, we need to be walking around with math books. Learning intelligence, something that can help us in the real world. We gotta give up on this Jesus mess. It ain't working. It has never worked. We black Americans are suffering through some of the Do you all understand that the poverty is worse in 2014 than it was in the night? 1950s and 40s, 50s and 60s is worse today in 2014. We're going backwards, not forward. How is this possible? When I moved to Atlanta in 1990, there were 300,000 people living under poverty, and today there are more than 1 million families living under the poverty level here in Atlanta. So, in 25 years, this city has taken a bout face for black Americans. Now you go over to where the white folks live, they live in a wonderful life. They got million dollar houses on every corner, everywhere. Can't even afford the stuff. Just go to our neighborhoods, it's deplorable. We take the steps backwards. If black folks don't let go of this Jesus mess and this false belief in this invisible belief system, we'll never, ever make strides and move forward in our lives. And I know y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm, hey, I'm gonna speak my mind. If you like my videos, please click like. Give me some feedback what you think on today's topic. And share my videos with family members and friends that try to free their minds and to seek education and break free from these religious beliefs that are destroying our communities. Anyway, I'm out. Enjoy your Monday. <sighs> I, hope, I just hope I'm able to reach some people and get through to them and, and help them understand how destructive religious beliefs have been to our community. 
I'm out.